What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. As you guys can see here, we have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and the new Moto Razr Plus or Moto Razr 40 Ultra or Ultra 40. Wherever you are, wherever you're located, it has a different name around the world. But here in the U.S., this is known as the Razr Plus, as you can see by the packaging. So, First things first, just to get it out of the way, this video is not going to be very detailed as far as specs go. I want to give you guys a quick comparison between these two side-by-side -side devices in a similar color way to kind of show you the drastic improvement that Motorola has made over the prior generation's flip. But caveat to this as well is this baby is about to be outdated in a few months when we get the brand new Z Flip 5 and Fold 5. But we're expecting a lot of changes, very comparable to what Motorola did here, specifically around the cover display. And in its current form, as you guys can see here, yeah, it's pretty, pretty dinky, pretty rough. It's very minimal what you can do. You can swipe, get your notifications, get your music playing controls, alarms, very limited feature set here. Um, you really do have to truly open this baby up and go from there for what you need. So not ideal for a lot of people. Again, if you watched our prior videos, we've said this numerous times now, one of Motorola's execs really hit the nail on the head. What's the point of getting a foldable if all you're going to do is open it up every day, multiple times a day, and use it like a clamshell was? No reason for any of that. So what Motorola did here was really knock it out of the park. This new display on the Razer 40, Razer Plus, I should say, is it's amazing. It really is great. It looks good. It's much more usable than any of the past iterations were. And I am definitely, definitely, definitely a fan of what they did here. Instead of just getting a little notification area here, they made the whole screen usable as you might want. And let's go ahead and just get this unlocked. Basically, yeah, it's a much nicer, much more compact, and user-friendly version. So again, outside display aside, I will say Samsung's hinge does feel a lot nicer. It is much more maneuverable and you can position it in a lot of more different, basically, settings than you could uh, with the Moto Razr though. But having said that, let's swipe all that away and open this one up. And you can see both of these phones are very comparable in size and then feature set when they're open. You have high refresh displays on both of these. Yes, you are getting a little bit of a higher refresh rate at 144 hertz on the Moto Razr. But again, at this point, when you're talking about how quick they both look and how good they look, you're not going to see much of a difference between the two. Camera wise, Samsung still knocks it out of the park. They have better cameras, even from a couple of years ago. But the new Moto Razr Plus definitely is no, no slouch in the camera department. Aside from that, you can see just how similar the build qualities are. Very similar, basically, mentality on design-wise. However, like I said, the hinge is just not as... You can see how easy it shut closed there. It's just not as strong as the Samsung's one to allow it to sit in different locations. They do both have flex mode, so you can obviously par parch them up if you'd like. Let's go ahead and open this one. Let's launch a YouTube video if it wants to connect. But either way, let me let me try to get us in. All right, YouTube's open on that one. Let's go ahead and get into YouTube on the Razer. Let me pick the same video here for us to watch. Let's go over this weekend review that we just put on here. So again, when you fold it at an angle, you can see just how nicely that did adjust. And the same is going to happen here as well. So a very comparable layout. Again, what you can see right off the bat too, even with this um, un-unique direction, let me actually lower this for you guys to see. The camera quality and picture quality on this on the Samsung just looks so, so much better. It's a little brighter, it looks a little clearer, uh, just straight out the gate. I like the flex mode, definitely looks very nice, but Samsung's just display looks just that much better. Aside from this, what you cannot do aside from here volume is when you close it, continue play. You will be greeted with an option unless you turned a different one on in settings 
to continue right here. And now you can watch your entire video right on the exterior cover display. Yes, it's not large, but it is much more easily manageable if you just want to see something quick. You can't twist it though. The accelerometer doesn't work on the outside display. You're, st you're stuck in this one view mode, but still better to have this option than not. I can tell you though, one thing else, this hinge on the razor, it's completely flat. You cannot see through that at all. If we set this aside and grab Samsung's, look at the difference there. You can easily see through to the wood table below. It is not flush at all. Both in the right lighting, you can see that crease. Unfortunately, it just seems like it's not going anywhere just yet. And then again here on the razor, same thing. It's not quite as predominant, but it is definitely there nonetheless. Let me turn this off so you can see it in the dark. Yeah. But yeah, aside from that, guys, again, camera quality uh, is still going to be won by Samsung. These phones are great in both their respective categories. Personally, I'm excited to see what Samsung does with the Flip 5. I know the kind of like folder looking display is going to be a huge improvement over that. I still prefer Motorola's implementation with the cutouts around the um, cameras themselves. The way they implemented this where you can just play games right on the exterior display, it looks nice it's fun it actually is a battery saver as well because you don't have to open it up and do the same things you would traditionally be doing can't do that yet on samsung's maybe next month when they announce the flip and fold 5 we will but in its current implementation unfortunately just not possible so yeah that's it for this one guys thanks for watching let me know what you guys think oh one other call out too: battery life the battery life on this baby is much better than what i was getting on even some of my other foldables, but definitely in regards to the uh, the Flip 3. So, take it for what you want. This does charge a whole hell of a lot faster as well with its 30-watt wired and wireless 5-watt charging as an option. So, I got to hear from you guys. Between these two devices, are you picking up the new Razer Plus? Or are you going to wait and see what Samsung does with their new next-gen Fold and Flip 5? I think you can't go wrong with either. If you're a Samsung fan, you're obviously going to want to wait for the new baby here coming out in July. But if you like Motorola, you like the whole nostalgia behind it, this phone right here, this has actually been a pleasure to use. It's it's light, the battery's great, it charges fast, like I said. I, I can literally go round and round and talk to you about how this is, but get your hands on one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you pick one up, tell us what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.